My name is Crystal McVeigh and I live in a small town in southwest Oklahoma. December 10th, 2009, I went into the hospital for a routine procedure and I ended up dying. I spent nine minutes in heaven and it changed everything. My name is Virgil McVeigh. i married to Crystal since 2005. We had her two kids and then I had, we had two more kids uh, early 2009. And then late 2009, she went into the hospital and ended up passing away for nine minutes. I remember closing my eyes in the hospital after receiving some pain medication and I just drifted off to sleep. And the next thing I remember was waking up in heaven. I was standing in the most gorgeous light and instantly I recognized where I was. I knew who I was, I knew where I was. Her mom called me and said, you gotta get up here right now. It was like a 40 minute drive, so everything went through my mind. When I was younger, I remember riding the little bus that came through the neighborhood to pick up kids and take them to church. And I was always searching for God. I always wanted Him to be real. I really never even stopped speaking to Him throughout my entire life. But the things that had happened to me as a child and the decisions that I made as a teenager, and I could not see where God was. And so I just believed in my heart that I had two options. One, He was real and didn't love me because he didn't protect me, or two, he wasn't real. And really, either one of those really stunk. She believed in him, but she was struggling to, to trust in her own self that he existed. Looking back now, even though I chose God several times while I was in the light, and I, I didn't choose to come back necessarily, he revealed to me the reason that he had allowed my heart to stop for nine minutes, that he had taken me out of my body and right in front of him and it was to introduce me to this person and it changed me. Ten months after I died, just standing in the kitchen with my husband, God made it clear that I was to release the secrets that I'd had for my entire life and that the next time I spoke that my story was to include my childhood and that it was to include who I was before I met him. What I would like people to take away when they read Waking Up in Heaven is a story, my story, but I think that it's so many of our stories that no matter how broken and beaten we are, that no matter how far we run or how fast we think we run from Him, that He's in hot pursuit and that God is real and that you don't have to die for Him to show Himself to you. There's nothing that you can do in your life that will ever separate His love from you, and I mean nothing that would ever separate him from you.